took about two and a half hours to get that fire struck. Officials telling us that part of the challenge was that once they got here, one of the walls in the structure collapsed and that severely limited their ability to fight the fire. So that is what led to flames eventually fully engulfing this victim, the, the, the structure, I should say. At one point, we are told that the structure is subdivided into storage units, but there's still no clue as to what was inside the unit that caught fire and what may have led to it burning as intensely as it did for as long as it did. Won't let inspectors or investigators into the property until tomorrow when we determine structural integrity of the building. We're going to continue to overhaul now and make sure we get all the hot spots. We're going to keep apparatus out here all night to make sure that we don't have a rekindle of this fire. And then starting tomorrow under daylight, when we can safely evaluate the building, we'll let the investigators get back in. Now, this is an industrial area within Schaumburg, and so no one was in the building in question at the time except for the one person who called the fire in. So that is the important thing, that there are no injuries as a result of this fire. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.